video clip, I'm going to show you how I set up the Ninja forms to function the way I want them to function. If someone fills out a form, and how I set them up to show this content in the field, the content underneath the field, and so on, and how I'm going to change it. So, yes, I'm going a little fast, but I, I really want to do it as fast as possible, but still be able to help you. This took me days to understand. Um, recording video to demonstrate how to set up Ninja form functions. Excellent. I'm going to submit. It takes three to five minutes to receive that confirmation. I have another tab open. Underneath Ninjas, I'm underneath Submissions. The form I'm speaking about is the contact form. I just submitted my data so that added it to this area. Now I'm going to click on contactmyincomejob.com form. That's the title. And how to change that title, go to Advanced, Display Settings. And right here is where you change the title form. It says contact by default. I added my domain to it. Let me go back to form fields. I'm going to click on name. I want you to know I prefer the content, the label position on the left side of the form. I will refresh this so you can see what I mean. See, I like the word name on the left side. It's just a personal preference. You get to choose where you want that label to be seen, visible. I'm clicking on display. I'm just showing you what I taught myself. Contact. Now that was a tricky one. You know, I still haven't figured that one out. I'm taking that out. But what I did figure out is when I put content for video demonstration in the description area, I did test the help text. I can't figure that out yet. You see it right here. Content for video demonstration. That's really cool. So that's an option. And then in the placeholder, I'm using a WordPress fully responsive theme. And right here, in the field, I'm using a WordPress fully responsive theme. That's really cool. And for a beginner, that's very exciting to understand that. Now, I want to remove this. I know that. And I also know I want to remove this. I'm going to go back up. Click Done. Click Publish. I always miss that published. I'm going to email. I have it left of element. I'm going to display. Again, if no reply, please check your spam folder. Well, I'm going to leave that. I happen to like that right there. For now. Doesn't mean I have to leave it there forever. And I'm going to click advanced. Not sure if I did something. Enter an email address. Oh yeah, I did right here. Enter an email address. Well, I want to get rid of that. But once I figured out that's what that placeholder is for, I thought I would show you. Click Done. Click Publish. Now I'm going to check these two really quick. Not that I... I don't think I did anything. No. I'm going to click Advanced just to see. Nope. Same thing. It works just like the other ones I showed you. And Submit is just Submit. You saw that when I filled out my form. That was it. I left it as default. Okay. Emails and actions. Store submission. That's default. 
success message. That's the message that populated after I submitted my information here. Email confirmation. I wrote email confirmation, I believe, but to really make this stand out, I just want to be able to show it, show it to you. Oh, I already sent it, so I can't do that. I'll show you in a moment where the email confirmation is. I wrote that. Submission confirmation. Hmm. I can't remember if I did that. I'll work that out later. Email notification. This was the subject I added just my domain and I left this as is. I'll show you in a moment. This was, I'm testing this, another junk email I use. I'll see if it's there. And it's just informing an administrator that someone have, has filled out a form. And I did write this. Thank you for contacting myincomejob.com. You are next in queue. Email notification. Well, I'm going to learn. Let's see what happens. Publish. Now, for some reason, in... Well, let me, let me check that before I say that. I'm going to refresh this. Yeah, for some reason, on my, in my WordPress account, I'm going to highlight the short code Go to pages. The page I'm working on, I'm messing around with, is the register and sign in page. I'm deleting that. I'm going to add a new element. Text editor. I don't know why it doesn't. It doesn't update. It doesn't take. I put in the short code. Click enter. Click done. Click publish. I'll refresh it, but I'll go to this browser. You see everything? You see the words? Everything? You're going to see a new form. All the changes I made. Look how pretty that is. Nice, clean, and sleek. Now, let's answer our question. Yup. Right there. Ah. Oh, now... I received two guys. Oh, one's 12 minutes ago. That was before. Okay. This is the one. <clears throat> yep. This is the one that gets sent to the visitor who filled out the form. My name is Michelle. My email, and I wrote, I'm recording video to demonstrate how to set up Ninja form functions. And there's that email confirmation. I'm happy I took that out. I don't know, you know, it's just good to show you because that took me days to understand and I practiced and as you watched me, I would fill out the information and I use myself as a member. Let me go back to submissions. And that's how I taught myself. It's hard. I'm answering my own questions, doing it step by step, piece by piece. That's really the only one I worked on right now for this video. Oh, oh, I see. That's where that came into play. Let me, let me check. Oh, no, that's the message from the member. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't notice, know that before. See, I'm still learning. That's really great. The date, the message that the visitor wrote to you, you got their email and you got their name. I hope this helps you understand had to set up ninja forms to function the way you want them to function. Good luck. I will visit the link below when I uh, am approved into the affiliate program. I will be adding the link into the description below. Have a good day.